Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool RGB shake effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. I just had this really cool kind of like photo collage effect with this RGB like RGB shake effect. Now you could do it without the RGB shake effect, but it would just look a little bit boring. Having the RGB effect kind of adds a little bit to the photo. And there's probably you know a couple of you know shake uh, shake effects, handheld effects that just add a little bit more to the photo because I mean again like I said before it looks okay, but adding an RGB shake just adds a little bit more to the photo than just you know having just something like still. Um, static photos but of course that's all up to you that being said the focus of the video is about the rgb um shake effect now this is part this is from a um, plugin from ryan nagel so it is going um to cost money right here so if i go ahead and just play it right here you can see right here it has this rgb um shake effect um right here now how do you actually find this rgb shake effect what you want to do is you want to um download the ryan nagel new way bundle right here and then as you can see right here rgb shake effect right here this is the effect that i'm using so as you can see right here i click on one right here rgb shake so you got to download a plugin from the new way bundle and then of course you can see right here i just have a draw mask um i just cut out kylo murray and i just cut out all these people right here so obviously you have to use a draw mask um to cut out the person that you see it or else it's not really um going to work so basically i'm going to break down how to create this effect you basically just want to think of it as in like uh, sections of 10 frames so the first thing i'm going to do is going to animate the first 10 frames and i kind of have the markers here just as a, a guidelines now what i'm going to do is going to go ahead and keyframe the position um right here and then i'm just going to keyframe the position of the left and right right here and then i'm going to go and then i'm going to advance 10 frames now what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over here i'm going to take the x-axis and pull it over here so that's the right side now i'm going to go to the left side right here and i'm going to pull the the x-axis over here so this is a, you know, a pretty simple kind of cloning effect right here so if i play it right here as you can see there you go Kyler murray just splits off um right there uh, as simple as that now you, another thing you can do too is like go ahead and click on the transform right here you could actually go ahead and change the keyframes to um linear so it depends on whether you want it smooth or linear that all depends on the look that you want so the right is linear the left is smooth so you know you can you know, figure out which one um that you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go one two three four five six seven eight nine and right here so here is the next photo um, right here now what I'm just gonna take this photo I'm gonna go out to like 50% right here I will take this photo right here and I'm just going to drag it off the screen right here we'll take the y-axis right here and I'm just going to drag it off the screen um, right here so that's what we have right here 10 frames in now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a compound clip so option G right here number one so here we go here is the compound clip right here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a marker so now we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead right here place a keyframe on position go ahead 10 frames and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the y-axis right here and drag it right here and because it's part of that compound clip it's now connected so it allows me to drag the photo uh, right there so you can see right here play it right here there we go it drags down now as you can see um, right here and I'm gonna go ahead and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here so now we, so basically you're aiming the first 10 and the 10 frames the next 10 frames nothing is happening then in the next 10 frames you're gonna have to you know, get uh, get the photo in position um, right here so there you go the first 10 frames now we skip ahead 10 frames right here I'm gonna take this photo right here and as you can see right here this photo right here is just dragged off of the screen right there so now that's it's in position now we can create a compound uh, compound clip right here 
So I'll go ahead and just name this one two right here. Now I can place another marker uh, right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right here. Now when I go back and now this is what I'm gonna go ahead and animate keyframe the position right here. And then I'm gonna take the uh, X axis right here and then just move this over right here. Now of course if you want to, you can add motion blur. I'm just not going to um, add motion blur just for the sake of this tutorial because you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time. But as you can see right here, there we go. So the first 10 frames animate, as you can see right there, there you go. You have created this really cool kind of um, RGB shake, kind of like photo collage effect right there. And that's what it looks like. Very simple, very easy. Basically, you see here the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The first 10 frames is animated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That that 10 frames isn't. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So basically, it goes animate, hold, animate, hold, animate, hold, and so on and so forth. And the reason you're creating a compound clip right here is you can see it's easier to drag all the photos. Uh, so it just looks um, a lot better right there. And I'm going to go to the final edit right here. I'm just going to kind of go frame by frame with this edit just so you can kind of see what's happening. So you can see here's Kyler Murray um, right here. I'll go ahead and go like this. So you can see right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So as you can see right here, it's basically moving every 10 frames. And then of course you have 10 frames in between each animation to kind of let it hold just so it's not going too fast. Now obviously you could animate every 10 frames. You don't have to hold like I did for every 10 um, frames. That is a personal preference. And you know, you can choose which ones you want. Remember, you have to download um, the Ryan Nigel New Way Bundle right here in order to get this RGB um, shake effect right here. So I go ahead and just take it right here. Here is the RGB shake effect. Now I believe this plug-in pack does cost like $18 uh, right there. So you know you can go ahead. I'll make sure to put the link. Um, down in the description below, but that's pretty much the focus of this video is this RGB shake effect I just wanted to show you instead of just you know just taking the effect and applying it onto the clip I want to show you a really cool, you know way of Using um, this effect right there. So it's a really cool unique way of using it. Remember you need the RGB um, Shake effect from the Ryan Nagel new way bundle and of course you want to use a draw mask to cut out the person I already did it before uh, you know making this a tutorial because you know that would take a long time But obviously you, know, you want to put the time into making sure you individually cut every character or every subject out and that's pretty much it Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button Also a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials Anyways, I will see you in the next one Peace